welcome and welcome back. Today, we are talking about the most underestimated snack on earth. It is almost impossible to find a vegan granola bar that is inexpensive. You could end up paying almost like four or five bucks per granola bar. I mean, this type of pricing will send a new vegan like backwards, literally. You'd be in a grocery store like, nope, uh-uh, no. You're right in the aisle just talking to the bar. I am not paying that price for you. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it. You got people walking past and, and you're pretty much, I'm not paying that price for you. I'm, I'm just not doing it. Like seriously, I, like I'm, I'm just not gonna pay that. At this point, you probably feel like it's talking back. Like it's being smart with you. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Chill, I got you. No worries. I'm gonna show you how to make vegan granola bars with just three ingredients. I mean, at this price point, you'll be dishing them out like Obra dishes out cars. Other than the fact that this is quick, it's cheap, it's healthy, and it's easy, you wanna make these because there is so many varieties. Vegan granola bars is a great snack for school, for work, for the morning, for hiking, for the gym, I mean, for whatever you could think of. I'm gonna show you how to make them the chewy, no bake style, but also how to make them crunchy, which is kind of the way I like them, honestly. And because we like to be allergen friendly, you could head over to the website where you could learn how to make them gluten free and nut free with these very same steps. All right, let's tune into these next 30 seconds where I shot this overhead because it was so easy and so quick. Honestly, I could have done it in the dark and so can you. Let's go. The reason granola bars are such an amazing snack is because it can be made to complement possibly almost every diet. It's also flexible to meet all types of allergy restrictions. These are so versatile all three main ingredients can be swapped out, which makes these an easy snack to always gravitate to. These bars are no bake and can be made in one bowl with just a spatula. So the cleanup here is only one bowl and one spatula. But if you lick the spatula, <laughs> then it's one bowl. These vegan granola bars you can eat year round. The key is to keep the bars pretty interesting by adding some variety into the mix to incorporate into your diet or just for fun. The way you should choose what to put into your granola bars is based on activities you have coming up or just to balance your diet in general. You can add some antioxidants with fruits or dark chocolate or adding more protein and fiber with nuts and different grains. Overall, you just can't count these out as an option when thinking about something between meals or even eating something light when you're on the go. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and let's catch up in the comments. We'll see you next Monday.